Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Butter What uh, show, podcast, show, this thing, yeah. where sometimes we spill our coffee before we get to hit record and you guys would have been able to laugh at us. But we're going to talk more about uh, some 3D printing stuff that we found in the last couple of weeks here. What do you say about Let's that? Let's do it. Toby? Let's dive right in. Let's do it. I have this. I'm excited about this. I found this print in place snake game. Do you remember these snake games? I rem I don't even know what I don't even know if it's a game. It's a puzzle? I remember pl This one has coffee on it because I spilled my coffee on my desk. I absolutely remember playing with these, but I have absolutely no idea what they were what they were called or what purpose they had other than you could twist them into different shapes. You that's exactly there were shapes it's this is moist from spilling coffee on it. I was thinking of I should say we're giving this one away to somebody, but now we can't. It has coffee and milk all over it here. But this is neat because it's print in place, which means like you could see in my printing video there, it's, it's all just, it's all fully assembled, ready to go. What right off? What the shape did plate. it print in? Was that like a cube or a like okay. a square, like a like a square, this, now when you make these print in place things, tolerances are important, yep. right? And not all printers can get a tight, this is not supposed to do, well this, the real snake games don't really do this. You see yeah. this, uh, quite an arc I can bend into this. There's a lot of play between the, the doodads. But the action to twist them is very nice, and it, uh, it stays put right where you. Uh, that's real. Right where you put it, except it's a little bit. Yeah, limp. that's really impressive. I love I love all of the yeah. print in place stuff. Um, I haven't printed anything. Lately. I had to. I had to print this. I printed this slowly. I didn't try my faster profiles because I knew we needed to have this for today, and I printed it on Sunday. Today's you did Tuesday. a good job. When did it finish? The, uh, Sunday okay. night. I started it Sunday evening. And it you made, Sunday you made night, it sound like it's been printing for a couple days. No, no, not that long. But I was scared that if I did my... I would have done it at a higher resolution, but I was still worried that you know, a rounding error might make the tops and bottoms stick together, and I didn't want to deal with that. But you can see here they have one with... I printed the simple one. Yeah, his might be a little tighter than mine is. Our purses are tuned quite well. If you if you have a printer that's tuned less well, it's going to be tighter. <laughs> but these little things he's popping off the build plate here. I did not opt to print okay. this one. This one has little cavities to insert Colors. colorful bits inside, like a real yep. snake toy. I didn't think I, I don't have enough colors and it seems like a lot of work. I printed this two days oh, ago, you could so put I didn't think I had face time. on them though. On every one, get to it, get to it. I know what Brian's doing <coughs> after Hang on the a minute. stream. What, here. What's the link for that again? <coughs> oh well, we we have it. The link is going to be in the description, description, Tubby. You just have to wait for the uh, the description. And speaking of print in place things, oh my goodness. I printed this other cool thing. What'd you print? Over the Does it say when I printed this? Is there a date on the April twenty sixth? I printed this a while ago. Was it really that? I had to print this one twice. This this little guy here is a little they call it a micro SD card wallet. And one of these is really loose and all the SD cards are gonna I have two of them. And one of them's not too loose. It has the SD card adapter in there and room for four micro SD cards. That's really cool. I like that. And this is also print in place. It prints, you can see it in the video over here. It prints laying down flat like this and it uh, bridges a little pivot point inside there. I love print in place stuff, Tubby. It's fun. It's. But this is going to get me organized for. Uh, 
One of these lives in my drone bag. One of them lives in my desk. That's that's better than. Well, that, that printed. Yeah, that, that printed in place. <laughs> Where does it articulate? Uh, it does not. And if I try and articulate, <laughs> they're all going to fall out. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. But I was a little. I was a little bummed out. I printed this right from the factory, and it was extremely loose. And I didn't have a good way to edit the model. So I cheated, and I bumped up my extrusion multiplier. By how much? I did it by okay, 10%. Wow, that's a lot. Which makes all, the, makes all the slots just a little bit tighter. 10% sounded like a lot at first, but then I realized it just means that the 0.4 millimeter lines are going to be, you know, 0.44 millimeter. You know, next. But when you add that up from both sides, that's almost a whole you millimeter. Double. So that you was... I it. couldn't get the SD cards in there. I dialed that back to... Four okay. percent extra, three, or, and it's still a bit loose. I should have went with five. I should have split the difference. I said no. Splitting the difference is wrong. That can't work. It would have worked. You would have done, done a good that. job. But it's close enough, and this is going to keep my bag organized. So I'm pretty excited. What bag are you going to organize? Uh my big okay. FPV backpack that's back here somewhere. Mine's over there. You know, all our GoPros use micro SD cards, and they're so tiny. So I always throw the micros in an adapter, and then throw them in a little bin somewhere sense. in there. This is this is better. This is taking up less room in that giant bag. You did a great job. Are we yeah. doing a good job? And this is up on Thingiverse. We'll put the links in the uh, description, of course. I assume these little holes are in the back to help you pop out in case they're each too of the tight. cards but yeah. mine don't stick that well i don't know that's that's my only disappointment here it's easy to flop them out when you uh oh look it used to use a, a bolt. bolt yeah look at it there but now it's way better but we will definitely put a link in the description below i found these tubby and i'm kind of excited about them because I have a lot of small M2 screws. I have you? a ton, and I've bought lots of little plastic miscellaneous organizers from Amazon with the little slots that you that you can push down and make your own make your own organizer. But those slots always come loose, yeah. and I combine. And then all the screws. Yep, Go and you know, all the four millimeter or five millimeter screws wind up combining, and they look they identical are. until you try to mount your FPV yep. camera with the one that's a millimeter too long. It looks it like won't. Frankenstein because the the head of the it bolt. won't stay on, it won't yep. stay put. Oh, it makes me so mad. Boy, now I'm curious. I feel like I should know this. Why are these uh, pins? Yeah, I was going to ask that. Here. What are those? What are those pins doing? Oh, wait, I'm going to hop back over. Did you, have you been looking at the chat? I have. Oh, uh, Richard tells me, this is fantastic, because I told Chris these are just like Rubik's Cubes, and she said to me, no, those are not like Rubik's Cubes. Richard says these were made by the uh, Rubik's Cube people. I believe it. I mean, the... That's exciting. That's really exciting. And... Dev with David tells us that we should have a new patron re Patreon reward. Yeah, you're. Uh, I think you're print and play snake guy. For your for your longest tenured patron. Ooh, is that you? It's gotta be. Well, you can have this one. It's got coffee on it. It's good. <laughs> it's a. Uh, I'm really bummed out about that sticky. coffee. I'm gonna be. That coffee is gonna be like the Allen Wickers. <laughs> You're gonna miss it forever. I no already other, do. No other. But I should know why these pins are over here, shouldn't I? You think he used I... them to pick them up or something? Hold something in place. He's got them in all sorts of different. Uh, he's got them wide to hold resistors. I like that. Little little dudes here. I think you could pull the little. Oh yeah, the tiny little they bins. Come out. You can lift them out. Do they have a lid? I say he. I probably yeah, shouldn't a, say he. That's a it bad assumption. Not... It might not be a gentleman. It might the not designer. be a gentleman. The designer. Inventor? 
Are there more pictures here? I still want to know what the little clip is for. I bet the description tells us. It's a whole assortment of different uh, configurations. Do Is this an right? open scan? Oh, let's find out. That's something I would have been bragging about. That, I would too. I? I'm going to say no. That's a bummer. Maybe. Well, it'd be easy enough to make things that are yeah. compatible with it, I'm sure. Different size inserts and things. But I think that's pretty neat. I might need one of these, a set of these. Does a does it have a lid? Could Frank Paul says coffee has character. It's guy Frank, I have character all there over is, my desk. It was about two feet wide. There's oh. character a plenty on This was a full latte. There was a lot of latte. You know, twenty, thirty minutes ago, and now it's not. It's in a bunch of towels behind me over here. Ugh. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, I don't see a lid, but there has to be a lid. I would right? hope so. There's got to be. I'm going to assume there's I think a that's lid. a safe assumption. But I like that they stack, and I like that I can organize my tiny, tiny, tiny little yeah. parts. Is it better than a tackle box? It's smaller and areas in it. I love yep. my tackle box for organizing my electronic stuff. But, you know, now that I'm looking at this, I'm already thinking ahead. You know, somewhere over there I have one of those little parts, you know, the drawers with, you know, there's 40 drawers and a little. Now I want these that fit in those drawers. Okay, yeah. For some of the smaller screws that I don't have a lot of. You know, some of them are full. You know, they have dividers like you were yep. talking about. And... They pop out sometimes, but there's three per per drawer in my doodad over here. I should post a picture. Remind me to post doodad, a picture. Doodad, that. right here, picture. But I have enough of some size M3 screws that they're each each of the three things are pretty much, you know, two parts full. full. I have so many, but but this would be fantastic for. I'm gonna work on All that. Right. Hobby. I'm gonna. I agree with Frank, or Frank agrees with, we agree with each Frank's, other. Frank's got good taste, definitely. So I'm going to say that, that's an episode, that was about I 13 minutes. I think that minutes. is an episode. This is true. Well, we're going to do it in two weeks. Two weeks. Should we, should we, now, now, see, I disagree with you and 3D Wee B that we should do an introduction, but I'm wondering if we should do an outro to put on the four of these potential videos like we do the live stream every uh every other every first tuesday or something hmm i don't need, we don't i don't even think we have to do it for this set of yeah videos. i'm not too it's not about, about it, it but this that's is not a bad idea to routinely yeah say hey yeah just routinely at the end of every episode say we do this every first tuesday of the, of month. the month and make sure to like and subscribe yeah make sure to click like the notification subscribe. bell all those things smash, will go in this smash outro. Smash that stuff. And you know I'm going to use this as our outro. Oh, I hope that you do. For all these videos. This, this nonsense Patri that we're speaking Patreon. right now. Patreon. We each have Patri Patreon. Patreon. We do each have Patreon. And the URLs for those will be in the description. And if we were good at this, I would explain to you why it's a good idea to support us on Patreon. But I did not prepare for that, guys. So I'm... I have to apologize for that. You you too might want a butt sensor for your home automation. And your your contributions on Patreon are a huge reason why we're able to, to make butt sensors. It's true. I could not have made a butt sensor without the support of my patrons. And I'm not even 